Number 1. LA Casa de Al. Fun times we had at La Casa de Al. Apparently Al Pacino lived there when he was going to Veradero, so it makes it fun to eat there. I took the lobster and it was very good. Lovely time and beautiful view. Number 2. LA Fondue Casa del Queso Cubano. Ate here on a recent trip to Veradero. My friend and I went to this restaurant hoping to get an unforgettable fondue experience and sure got it. We ordered lobster and bread slash cheese fondue as an appetizer and one beer and one water. The beverage items came after about 10 minutes which we didn't really mind because we were watching the beautiful cars drive down the strip. Number 3. LA Villa Sonata Restaurant. Mandy is an affable host and we had a fantastic meal but all was lost when we noticed how unclean the kitchen and bathroom were. Seeing cockroaches in the toilet area and on the food preparation counter, and the numerous bugs in the bathroom were enough to sink our estimation of this casa. Location is not terribly convenient to the city core, and not walkable to the playas east of the city. Number 4. Restaurant Palada Mallorca. The food was excellent in portions much larger than expected based on menu prices. Despite having a lunch reservation the waitstaff seemed overwhelmed by the large group, 16 people, tables not set up when we arrived. Number 5. Tiki Bahia de Cochinos. This was one of the best meals we had on our whole trip in Cuba. We had a whole grilled fish that was shared among 5 people and was truly spectacular. The view is beautiful and the people that work there were great as well. Number 6. Restaurante Romantico San Severino. We are open the whole week, save Wednesdays. We are waiting for you to have a nice stay in our restaurant. We open at 12 p.m. M. Till late in the night, close when last customer leaves the restaurant. Bookings may be done at phone number of the restaurant. Number 7. El Bucan. We fell in love with El Bucan some time ago and when we decided to go back to Matanzas, we started dreaming about returning to El Bucan. It is not fabulously decorated or particularly lavish, but it is warm, delicious, clean, and the overall experience is delightful. Somehow it is romantic and charming. Number 8. Restaurante Arabato. Excellent friendly staff and great service, this was good value food very popular with the local Cubans. Pasta and pizza were plentiful as well as more traditional pork, chicken and fish dishes. Four or five house specials like squid, beef and lobster were also available. Number 9. Lou Fettuccini. Lou Fettuccini is a small Italian food restaurant located in the center of the city of Matanzas. The pastas offered are handcrafted in the restaurant itself. All sauces are made in the restaurant with local ingredients. Number 10. Amelia Del Mar. This club is in the backyard of a local house. The facilities in back are surrounded by trees and shrubs so it is cooler and inviting. We went for a mojito and to listen to a local youth band play. Excellent music and great environment to spend an afternoon. Hope you like this video. For more videos please subscribe to our channel.